My name is Ellie, and I'm a second year law student at UCO. Doing law is hard enough on its own already, but doing it online is like an extra layer of difficulty. Luckily, though, over the past few months, I managed to develop several study habits as well as find study techniques that help me more or less keep track of my workload. Creating a good study plan is so, so, so crucial. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I think it is important to have a weekly plan of the various tasks and deadlines that are coming up, as well as like a daily plan of the various tasks you would need to do for the day. I personally like to have that kind of visualization because it gives me an overview of the various things I'll have to do for the upcoming week. It makes me feel less stressed and feel like things are under my control, which is always a good feeling when there's a lot of stuff going on. Being able to tick off the boxes and be like, like, okay, I am pretty much on the track. Things are looking good. Just gives me that sense of tranquility. I also like to use the app Forest. This is an app which lets you plant trees while you're studying. If you turn on the deep focus mode, you cannot touch your phone while you're studying. So basically, if you do, the tree then dies and it's not a very pretty image. Another thing that's really good about this app is that it tracks your study habits. So it will tell you what time of the day you are the most productive or what are the days that you work on the most. And I just feel like it gives a really great overview of my productivity. That's such a key when it comes to developing good study habits. I remember in year one, doing readings was kind of like a myth to me. I knew what it consisted of and I was doing it, but was I doing the readings correctly? I don't really know. <laughs> Even in um, year two, when we suddenly had this increased workload with lots of readings to do, uh, I knew that I had to take on like a good strategy to approach them. So I tried to read it in a smart way. What I do is that I firstly look at the introduction or the abstract to see what the article is about. And secondly, I read with a purpose in my mind. The reason why I'm saying this is sometimes lecturers will place certain articles under certain subheadings and that should give you an indication as to what you should be looking out for when you're reading that article. What can also happen is that if there is a very controversial topic, you will often have one author that argues in favor of a certain trend and another author that argues against that trend. When you're writing an essay, you'll be able to gather good arguments for both sides. Another thing that I like to do is to like skim. And I think if you're a law student, you will really develop the art of skimming. Sometimes articles can be very, very long and you might be looking for a very specific thing or an idea that will like give you extra points in essays. And the way you do this is to by really skimming through the article quickly and finding key words that interest you. You will be able to find these keywords by referring to the content of the lectures. So if you feel like there are, for example, certain buzzwords or like concepts that your lecturer mentioned, make sure to look out for those in the article and that should guide you in the right direction. Lastly, I wanted to talk about watching lectures online. So in our case, they're called Lost Casts, very fancy word. I usually like to watch them at 1.5 speed. If not, I go for 1.25 and I turn on the subtitles. By doing that, I feel like I get to digest all the material at a relatively quick speed while being able to take notes. As you can see, I have a split screen where I view the lecture content on one side and then on the other side, I type out my lecture notes on the app Notion. Writing down notes is definitely something I struggled with when I was a first year student. What I do is that in order to keep my notes organized because there is so much content, I use the color red for cases, blue for various academics and articles, um, green for summaries of like really big paragraphs and cases or anything on the lecture handout that's a bit long. And then I use the color yellow for very important things. And I feel like that kind of color scheme really helps me to locate the information that I'm looking for pretty fast. So these are the general tips that I use while I'm studying. If you're one of those people that only sleep like six hours every day, feel guilty about taking a break or are constantly haunted by the idea of toxic productivity, you need to stop right there. Like to study smart and do well in your studies, you need to foster a healthy mindset and take care of yourself. I cannot emphasize this enough. You need to recognize when your body and your brain need a break. It might be counterintuitive to stop when you're at your busiest, but it's actually key to being productive and I hope you realize that. I hope this video was helpful. Good luck for your exams and summatives. We got this. I'm going to get back to my readings and I will see you next time.